Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews from here in Scottsdale, Arizona at the C2 Tactical Indoor Range, our favorite indoor facility, with the Rock River Arms Rage. I say Rage because it's like R-R-A-G-E. This is a entry-level type of budget-minded MSR rifle in 5.56. Uh, the features are nice, it's a really nice forged receiver, really nice slick upper, floating handguard, but while you save some money, it's in the barrel, it's not the, you know, the latest and greatest heavy bull barrel, it is a standard um, size barrel, and it is, of course, not chrome line or anything like that, it's for the cost, for the price of this uh, carbine, it's a great starting point. Of course, it comes in with a standard M4 uh, adjustable stock with a commercial buffer tube and a standard A2 pistol grip. You know that it doesn't matter what they put in it, you're gonna change it because you, have, you like something different. So they decided to go with a basic so you can take it out and put it in that big box you have at home with a bunch of these and a bunch of these, okay? I do have a bunch of these and a bunch of these at home. Trust me, I do. The scope is a loophole VX scope, one to five power, and a loophole base. This is a great combination to get started on the rifle and to be able to grow with it. There's a couple of versions of this rifle, the G1, G2, and G3, and the only difference between them is the length of the handguard. This is the G2, which is a mid-length handguard. Now, really good, I personally would like to have the longer handguard, but I got this one, so I'm gonna enjoy it. So let's go ahead and shoot a couple of rounds. Trust me, just a couple of rounds. We don't have that much money when you have to pay a ridiculous amount of money for ammo. Yeah, you don't want to shoot too much. I'm just want to test fire it. It's not even sighted in. I'm going to take it to the range later and sight it in at 100 yards where it's meant to be shot from. So let's go ahead and shoot it. Okay. Like I said, I'm only going to fire five rounds uh, just to test fire it. Make sure it shoots. See how close I am, even though at this short distance it doesn't really matter. What we want to do is going to be enough offset for me to uh, see how it fires and how it groups at a short distance. We'll sight it in at the correct distance later. Let's go ahead and do it. Well, like I thought, with the offset I have, it's just perfect. I just put my uh, reticle a little high at, you know, we're 10 yards. This is not the way you shoot this rifle, but when you start uh, practicing with MSR, make sure your rifle is on paper. Start at a short distance, especially with the cost of ammo nowadays. You really do not want to waste ammo starting your sighting process or putting in your paper at 100 yards. Start close, put it on paper and then you can calculate your distance depending on how far away you go. This rifle should be uh, sighted in, I would say either 50 yards or 100 yards, depending on what your main uh, purpose for it is. I would say 100 yards, but then again, I've done it at 50 before for something for self-defense and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and um, I'll shoot it in a little more. I think this rifle is gonna stay with me for a while and we're gonna change a couple of parts on it. You, we were expecting that. You were expecting me to change something on it, didn't you? So we're gonna go ahead and put another stock and another grip on it. See how, we sh how it performs. Um, I got a couple of stocks at home that I'll be using and there's a couple of new stocks coming out from a couple of different vendors so I might try those too. So again, like always, be healthy, stay safe, and have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.